That caught Lou falling down. sweet friends welcome to Appalachia's homestead I'm going to film a an impromptu video for you this evening it has been thunderstorming like something else for the past couple of hours so we're gonna push forward anyway we got all the animals up early something told me kind of you know you might want to move a little bit early on that and man I'm glad we did because it has been crazy but thank you for being here welcome back to the channel I hope you have had a fabulous weekend. We had a great one. We really did. So yesterday um, I posted pictures, <clears throat> pardon me, and I've uh, made a couple posts about me being baptized or re-baptized, if you will, in the Telco River. It was a very special day as I have rededicated my life to Jesus. I've told you before that I was a Christian and um, that I was saved when I was a young girl but I have felt, and I'll just tell you, I don't know if I've said this or not. I know I wrote about it in my post because I want you to know. I want you to know. Um, I have felt in the last year or so a real strong urge to rededicate. And I wanted to be rebaptized uh, as part of that process. Um, obviously, I'm, I've, I've already accepted Jesus as my Savior. And boy, we're as, as human beings, we're always having to repent, aren't we? I know it. Because we're humans. And we make mistakes and that's how we learn and uh, we, we talk it out with the Lord and we become better people and we move forward, right? We share these things. But yesterday was very special. Miss Lou was awesome. Um, just a really awesome day and uh, I've sort of rested today. There's never a full day of rest, right? Because you got to feed the cows and you got to you got to push through the mud, people. Just remember that. No matter what's going on in life, no matter how tired you are, Breaks are good, slower days are good, but you still have to push through the mud because we're gonna have a new week, right? New beginnings, always, there can always be a new beginning. Um, so listen here, so you've seen a lot going on and I did a live stream uh, the other night about the Olympics. Wow, hasn't that turned out to be a lovely, a lovely uh, experience for all of us? Um, and I think we understand, and I hope that you do, and I hope that you're praying about this. Um, and with your eyes wide open, you are seeing the spiritual warfare that we are in as a people. 
and it's not just we the people here in the United States, it is us all around the world, okay? And here's what happens. This is what I have found so interesting in the past 24 to 48 hours is that I would have, not a, not a lot, and I'm not complaining about these people to complain or rant in front of you. This, there's a lesson here for all of us, and so this is why I talk about these things. Um, let's put more light. It's not dark, it's just rainy. Um, here's the deal, y'all. Um, you are seeing with your own eyes, listening with your own ears, every sense about you. you are witnessing a spiritual warfare. And the ultimate trickery within that spiritual warfare is for things to be perpetrated on you or on others or things done in front of you where you can see it, you can hear it. I mean, there's no denying what's going on here, right? And then individuals will turn around and tell you, tell me, that we're either crazy we're too sensitive. Or they'll call you other things. They'll call you this, they'll call you that. They'll accuse you of being something or of doing something that you're not. All you're doing is saying, this is happening, I'm seeing it, what in the world, etc., etc. And I watched that play out yesterday with a couple of people. They, they literally would sat there and said that the things that we are seeing, that the world is seeing, they actually denied it. Now, you can sit there and I can sit there and say, well, these people are just, they're just a bunch of dummies, right? We can say that they are, they're just fools. Um, I'll tell you, at this point in my life and at this point in the game, with everything that we have seen, particularly, in the last three to four years. Everything is by design. There are no coincidences and you are not crazy. We might act a little crazy, you know, being silly or whatever, but there is no denying what you are seeing, what you are feeling and what you are hearing and everything in front of you guys. So this is a test, in my opinion, for people like me and people like you in terms of, are you going to allow that to happen? It's a test. You are being tested. You have been tested a lot, particularly over the last three or four years. And I have news for you and I have news for myself. This is how I'm preparing myself. Here's the thing, I've said this before. I can film this video I can go back to the house, eat dinner, you know, do whatever I need to do for the rest of the evening. And by the time this video uploads, something huge may happen. That's how fast, that's the quickening that you are experiencing. This is the, the veil that I spoke of the other day that is thinning. You are seeing things for what they are. They are not hiding it. They are lying to you. They are lying to me. They are manipulating you. They are manipulating me. And you have to make a decision if you're going to go along with the game. My personal take on this is to call on Jesus. We have to call on God to help us. I think God wants us to call on him to help us. Because we're in a battle right now, folks, that is beyond flesh and blood. And your children and my children's future are at complete risk at this time. Oh, Patera, you're so sensitive. You're so crazy. Am I really? Well, we're going to watch how the next three to four months, six months play out. And I think the attacks on you are going to increase. I think the attacks on us as a people are going to increase. It doesn't have to come in terms, in a term, in, in ways of battle, meaning literal pew pews or knives. No, it's happening within your spirit. It is happening within your mind. 
we are being tested on every single level. And it's going to, I think, I hope I'm wrong. Pray, please pray I'm wrong. I'm praying I'm wrong. Okay, it's okay. It's going to take everything that we have to maintain our level heads and our decency. But yet we still have to have the balance of, and the fortitude to stand up and say, no, no. This is going to be happening to me and to you and to all of us within our families. It's going to be happening from our friends. It's going to be definitely coming to you on social media. It already is, already has been for many, 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 many moons. But it's going to amp up. They want you to question everything down to every single thread level, every, to the finest of threads of, of everything that you've ever known. Everything that you've ever known that has been decent and good has been attacked. It has been torn down. It has been transformed. Remember that transformation? Right. Well, here it is. And it's been happening. You guys know this. I don't have to tell you. But I do want you to think about the fact of, look at what level it has gone to. And then for them to, to flip it on its, flip it, and then to tell you that's not what you saw. That's not what you experienced. This person, oh, she was never the border czar. What are you talking about? Did you, are you making that up? Why, yes. Does he really appear to be about five inches taller than he was last week? How could that be? You're just being sensitive. You're just being crazy. Trickery, trickery, and more trickery. And it's gonna make you, try, they're gonna try to make you doubt, it's gonna try it, let's call it it. It, they, whoever, are going to try to make you doubt your own self, your own family relationships, your own self-reliance and self-sustainability, and you know what the ultimate's going to be? Your, your proud allegiance to your heritage and culture and ultimately to God. They're trying, it's trying to tear you away every day, every moment you breathe that I breathe, pull you away. And we've talked about this on different levels and different ways many times over recent years. This is why I felt that it was critical for me to recenter myself and to get back to what I know is going to pull me and my family and you through. And I've rededicated myself and I invite you to do that. We have to repent and we have to understand and come to terms with the fact that the only thing that is going to pull us through is God and our commitment to each other nothing else. The government is not going to pull us through. We know what good they do. And there is so much warfare amongst us every day when we're walking around. Look into the eyes. Use your discernment. And I have to too. We have to use our discernment and be looking into the eyes of every person that we meet, you are going to know very quickly what you're dealing with. We have to be praying about all of this constantly. There's going to be times and days that you are put into doubt, and when that happens, you open your Bible and you hit your knees. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be sophisticated. God does not expect that from us, but we have to call on God. I hope this video finds you well, and I hope that you are already thinking about what I just said, and I think a lot of you are. And we sit there and we go, how can they sit there and say that? You may not fall for the trickery, but a lot of people are. And if they aren't falling for trickery, yet they are saying and all of these things aren't happening and everything you've been experiencing and everything you've been seeing and, and totally manipulating it, what intentions do they have? You have to decide that. And you need to decide where is that coming from? 
I know. I'm confident in where it's coming from. It is right smack dab in the middle of the spiritual warfare that we are all in. This isn't about politics anymore. This isn't about claiming whether you want to claim to be a pineapple or a papaya today. This is beyond all of that. And the test is already here. So no matter who you are, where you are, what color you are, how you were raised, whatever your circumstances are, I urge you to take the time to repent and turn it over to God. And from that point, you are going to know exactly what you need to do because God is not going to fail his people. Remember that. I love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kind words and remarks. I've wanted to share, you know, some of my personal experience that I did, you know, with some posts and, and I'll show some video um, in this from yesterday, you know, a little bit. And uh, because I love you guys, your family, and I want you safe and I want you blessed. We've all had a different path and we've all done things in our life that we've regretted and we want to change. And we can do that. Let's do it together. Let's be better together. I love you. I'll see you this week on many, many videos. Some of them may be in the car. Some of them may be in the kitchen. It, it depends upon the weather. We're supposed to get a lot, of, a lot of rain and thunderstorms over the next two to three days. And then we like get hot and sunny back up in the 90s. It's crazy. Guys, lots of videos are still going to be rolling. And I appreciate you being here. Bibles are being ordered tonight. So I, I, I've, I've given it as much time as I could. So that will be happening before I go to bed. And I will be uh, randomly selecting the names and just sending them out. And we will be doing that again on the last Sunday of August. We're going to, and I'll keep reminding you to send me an email and put, drop your name in the hat. Make sure you do your name and address. If you're not comfortable with any of this, then don't do it. Okay. I'm doing this because I felt led to do it. And I hope that those that receive it are blessed because you bless me every single day. Godspeed. God bless. Remember, pray, prep. Guys, you got to be preparing in all ways. Don't let up. Be peaceful. You're too busy for anything else, right? I love you. I'll see you in the next video.